full of frames, but we're going to take some of them out. So we'll take two out there. Brooke, you can take the other two out of the middle. And we'll take a couple of these foundation frames out as well. So now what we want to do is uh, put two to three frames of capped brood into this new split. That capped brood will hatch out quickly and uh, the population will grow rapidly here. This is a pretty warm day. It's about 28 degrees, so there's not a lot of bees in the brood chamber. And we're gonna need to add a lot of extra bees to keep that brood warm when it gets cooler tonight. Uh, we're gonna make up this split and leave it in the same yard. So we'll lose bees back to the original patient. So we need to add lots of extra bees for those two reasons. So we'll take a nice frame of cap brood. I'll pass that to Brooke, she can put it in. Another nice frame of cap brood. And we're gonna give them three frames of cap brood. We've left lots of extra space here so that we can shake bees into that extra space as well. So we're gonna shake a minimum of three more brood frames in. So we're adding young bees. The young bees are adhering to the brood frames and they're more likely to stay with this split. Uh, so we'll shake those in. We just give it a real sharp shake. You hold it very uh, firmly and give a sharp shake. Lots of nectar coming off with that shake. So those bees stay down nicely there for us. So one, two, three and we're actually going to give it four shakes here this colony uh, will recover pretty well there's bees up in the honey supers there's lots of bees out foraging so they'll rebound very quickly uh, and it won't hurt for us to take some of these bees out okay so now we can put all these frames back into place we're going to keep the brood together all in in the middle here and then we're going to put extra mm -hmm. frames back in. Mm -hmm. Want to grab a couple honey frames there, Brooke? So put a foundation frame in there and basically put in what we have for mm -hmm. frames. These bees will do well with that. This one's got quite a bit of honey in it. They'll move that honey up into the honey supers. They've got a partly drawn comb here. We'll put that in. So now we're back to 10 frames there and we can release the queen in the parent colony and put it back together. Going back to the split, we now have our three brood frames. We're gonna put those in the middle and we're gonna put drawn comb on either side of those if it's available. So we've got drawn comb here and then we'll finish up with uh, the last foundation frame there. We'll put an inner cover on there. You wanna give that a bit of smoke, Brooke? And we'll put that inner cover on there. Now, what I like to do when I'm making up a split is move it to a new location so that the bees reorient better to their, their new hive. But not everybody has different locations to put their bees. So in that case, what we would do is reduce this entrance and set it somewhere in our bee yard. We're just going to uh, set it off over here and that would be the new location for our beehive. So once we made the split up the next thing is uh, this is a queenless split so we either need to introduce a mated queen which I have here or a queen cell. So in either case uh, we open up the colony. Some people choose to leave the colony queenless for a day before they do this. Other beekeepers introduce the queen right away. It doesn't make a, a great deal of difference. Uh, so we go to the brood frames that we had put in the middle and we orient the cage face it with the screen facing down and just put that in between those frames like so. Squeeze them back together a little bit and we close that colony up. 
I like to leave, uh, any time we introduce a queen, I like to leave them for a week before we come back and check on them to make sure that she's had the opportunity to get laying eggs, build up her pheromone production, and she won't be rejected at that point. If you check too soon, the bees can actually kill the queen. So we leave that for about a week. And there we go, that's making up a split with the first method. 